So in my last video, we took a look at the servo motor. It was my first video dealing with a servo, and uh, now this is the second video. So in any case, what we did in the last video, the servo was sweeping back and forth. There's power applied here now. I changed the sketch, the program that's on the board. Now it's doing something else. That's why we have more wiring, and it kind of looks like we're starting to get a lot of wiring but uh, it's actually not that much I'll go into the wiring later but uh, the purpose of the circuit right now you can see the position of the servo right now it matches the arrow on uh, this trim pot here if I use a screwdriver and then turn the arrow to the right now you see the servo turns to the right and if I turn the arrow to the left, the servo turns to the left. So the sketch that's used for this is called knob, K-N-O-B, knob. And uh, I'm pretty sure whenever you upload the uh, IDE, the Arduino software to your computer, the knob software, or the knob sketch I should say, is included with that uh, software. So now let's get to the wiring. The uh, servo, just like the last video I did, has pin 9 right here. It's a pulse with modulation pin. It's designed to be able to send out pulses of specific time length. And uh, that controls where the servo is positioned. The servo does the rest based on the pulse. It knows where to position itself and on the other side it's being powered and so there's just an output here as far as the servo is concerned the servos input the boards output now pretty much the same thing with the trim pot but the opposite the trim pot needs to be powered and so we got power on the board that gives a voltage an analog voltage at the output here it's going to be a fraction of the power source voltage based on the position. That's what the trim pot does. The trim pot's a type of potentiometer and potentiometers can make uh, great voltage dividers. That's what they're typically used for. So we'll get between zero if we turn the knob all the way here. A lot of uh, generally potentiometers have a knob. In this case I was using this screwdriver as uh, a knob because that's the way this particular trim pots design but uh, if we turn it all the way here we'll have zero volts if we turn it all the way there we'll have five volts and that goes you can see this jumper here to this analog pin and analog is not uh, like digital signals it's like anywhere in between zero and five volts any decimal point and so the digital pins don't handle that at all you know they need uh, very fine uh, numbers whereas analog can have uh, widely variable differences and it uh, the board translates that analog signal into digital signal and so moving in again as I said this is pin number nine pin number nine is one of the pins that can do pulse width modulation which is needed for the uh, servo and then the analog pin is pin zero you can see a zero here that's where that's plugged in there and the rest as I said is just powering it so it's very simple we got one input and one output so now of course we had to upload the sketch to the board the sketch is the program and as I said before this is the knob sketch and then after you get to this you just plug in the board and then uh, click upload and it does the rest as long as all your settings are right but uh, let's zoom in to the text so it's a little easier to see so now this sketch uses the servo library and uh, I pretty sure I had to upload this the servo wasn't working for me to begin with and uh, I had to make sure that the a servo library was installed or whatever you call it onto the IDE and uh, so I'm not an expert on that I've only done that once 
But if your server doesn't work, maybe it's because the library's not uh, installed. But anyways, here we name the servo. And here you can see that the potentiometer pin, the trim pot that we're using, is pin zero. I showed that. And then uh, over here, the servo is at uh, pin nine. And of course, these dashes indicate a single line of notes. That's just to help you understand what's going on. So now we come down to the loop section. We have the setup there with the uh, servo being attached to pin 9. And now what this does is it says read the value of the uh, trim pot. That's the input, remember? And then uh, scale it here. We got notes there. But uh, this line here, it makes it a value between 0 and 180 because I went over this in the last video but our trim pot is moving between 0 degrees and 180 degrees and it can be any point in between there and uh, so 90 degrees 45 whatever you know any point between there but it's between 0 and uh, 180 degrees and then uh, the right that means basically the output the pulses sent to the uh, servo and then this is the time given for the servo to uh, get to that point it doesn't send it any more uh, commands until after that period of time and it just keeps repeating 